Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode 20 of All the Mods 9 to the Sky. 20 episodes in. Can't believe it. And we're just now getting into Batania and what we have in our hands here. So you want to see how we get into Project E, Batania? Well, this is the episode for you. Let's hop in. Okay, guys, we're hopping back in here. We're going to get started on one mod, just just a small little bit on this mod. Uh, and that's because, well, we're waiting for the, the quantum, the, uh, for the singularity to get done here. And we're only about a tenth of the way there, so it's going to be a bit. Uh, we're going to hop into one mod, and that's actually probably, yeah, we're going to first hop into Botania here, uh, at Botania, and, um, we're going to need the flower pouch here that we have. We're also going to need floral fertilizer for this. So at, uh, do we have bone meal? We have bones, so close enough. Okay, so we're gonna take some bones, bone meal, and we're gonna take a stack of it and turn it into white dye. With this white dye and this, uh, we will get 16 floral fertilizers. Okay, so with this floral fertilizer, we'll come over here. We're going to make this. We're going to add Botania stuff to this island here. We're just going to right click all 16. And harvest them all up. The reason why we wanted the flower pouch is, well, then they all go in here. So it looks like we're missing the white one and the yellow one. So we're going to have to make some more floral fertilizer. Let's grab some more bones here. And stack of that makes 16 more let's go and make some more uh, flowers let's see if we can get the white one that we need i see the white one i see the yellow one so all right so once we gather up all of these and we've got a decent amount, not perfect. Uh, the next thing we're going to need from Botania is uh, at Botania, we're going to need a flower or a petal apothecary, so which takes a petal, which we already had some, some. Uh, stone here and it gives us this now we're going to need some place to put it that we can get water into it okay so i have to set up like a temporary water What if we set this up? Here. We'll set one water down there. A second water right here. And we can put the water in. Now we need some pure daisies. So to make the pure daisies, we're going to need some white flowers. 
And oh, I, I guess there is quest for Botania in the book here. So yeah, it tells us that we should make a pure daisy. And uh, as soon as we get them out of here, we'll get all of those uh, XP for it. So pure daisies. It's uh, four white petals and seeds. So how many pure da or white petals we have? Okay, so we don't have enough to do it twice. We'll put those in there. We'll get four of these guys. We'll tell us four in here. And it says any seed. So we just... We're not in range. How far is the... Oof. We need to increase the range. Um... Give me a second here. My mouse is sticking on my mouse pad for some odd reason. Why you won't find me ever playing Bed Wars or anything like that. It happens way too often. And we get us a pure daisy. So with this pure daisy here, we're going to get uh, some oak logs here and it's this one some stone and we have yeah we have the pickaxe and axe on us okay so what we'll do is i want to say right here should be a good starting spot for this we'll place around it some oak logs. Well, after about a minute, uh, these oak logs here will sparkle and do all types of interesting stuff. And once those do the particle effects after a minute, we will get a, a new resource. One of the new resources that we're going to need for Botania. So we're going to keep this side Aris Nouveau, this side will be Botania for this island here. Because I feel they're both nature-related nature in ways. So. so give that a second. We'll look in here. Yeah, it also wants us to do Living Rock. And you'll see that it does that. We can uh, one tap that with that. Now, the same is true for the stone as well. Uh, once that sparkles for about a minute, we'll get another material. So I'm coming over here to look at increasing the wireless booster by like two more sets of those might be enough to get us over there uh, let's see here edge of this platform yep we got access middle of this platform no no Okay, so it goes to the edge of this platform. All right, so there we go. We got the living rock now. And what is shooting at? Oh, pillager. Uh, where'd you come from? I do not know where you came from, pillager. All right, uh, we'll wrap this around again. Living Rock is one of the more important things. It will not take cobblestone. Ah, 
plus the click X here. So we'll go back over to here. We'll take some living stone and we'll turn it into a mana pool for us. So that gives us the mana pool thing in the project E1, which gives us an endo flame. We can make an endo flame in Batania. Uh, Batania, Batania. Uh, very simple. And with the end of flame, we now need a wrench. Uh, so let's the Batania wrench. We'll make three sets of twigs here. We'll go into the flower pouch. We'll get out a purple one. Take that. Uh, and we'll set those two purple flowers like that. And uh, the three twigs like that. And we get us a wand of the forest. And you see these flowers right here on this and on this are based upon this flower and this flower, respectively. Um, see, it even says, quest complete, Batanio's wrench. Now, we're going to need more living wood for this. So let's put more wood around here. And we're going to need a mana spreader. So we're going to set this mana pool right here the end of flame right there and we're going to need a way to pretty much send the mana that this produces to this uh, to do that we're going to need a hopper like item which is called the mana spreader and uh, which requires six locks, a copper ingot, and, well, some glowy, flowery stuff, so. That is why we need more of <clears throat> the living logs. It is the end of summer area here, and, like, I start getting roughly around this fall time, start getting allergies, guys. So my voice sounds rough. That That's why. Uh, we place the living logs here. Copper. And uh, at Batania, we will take this mystical green here and get a mana spreader. So we'll set this mana spreader right here between the end of flame and this. Now, this is why we needed this wrench. Uh, you see that center area right there and that green stuff shooting off from that? Well, we need to right click it and tell it to send it into the mana pool. And you see the green particles now are better aimed. Well, now if we look at the end of flame, it says that it's not even connected to this mana spreader. There's two ways of doing that. That is the right click on the end of flame and on the mana spreader. Uh, shift right click. And you see that it is sending. The other way is to break it and set it down after you have a mana spreader. Okay, so the mana spreader or the uh, end of flame, why it's one of the best early ones, is we can take item like coal here, toss it, not toss that, toss the coal onto the ground. It will burn, uh, burn it, sending it through the mana spreader and into the mana pool. So it, it's not a very fast thing, 
Uh, normally, I recommend making like four endo flames right away to uh, speed this up. So I'm going to make at least four more endo flames. And uh, get the next thing. Let's see here. All we need is two iron ingots, I think. Yeah, all we need is two iron ingots turned into the mana steel. So uh, I will be right back once I get the two mana steel. And uh, I made uh, four more of those endo flames. And now we've got the two steel that we need. Uh, so that is that for that particular portion of this. The next thing we need is to check in on the matter condenser. We're about halfway. So we need to make into project E here. Got that. So uh I need four of these obsidian with irons. Okay. So four of these guys. One uh, and we're out of ingots. And yes, there is a method to my madness. The reason why I'm going down this transmutation table thing. Well, I just told you guys. It's for the transmutation table. Uh, we've got the obsidian ingots, which those will make the dark nether star here. And with this dark nether star, uh, two blaze rods, dragon's breath, TNT, we're going to need some TNT. So let's see here. Uh, blaze rods. Right. Uh, blaze rods. We're going to need two of them. So. Might be like, oh, Malfur's been working on this for a while. Well, I have been. Um, Dragon's Breath. And now we're going to need a summoning altar here. So we're just going to need the red carpet. Do we have any beats? Okay, we do have beats. Ooh. Uh, so do we have any wool in here? So we do have wool, so we can make, uh, carpets. And we can take our dye here, the red dye. Now we have red dye carpets, which should now give us the summoning altar. Okay, so... With that done, what we need to do is, okay, yeah. Okay, so we're going to use the summoning altar here. It's kind of a nice spot for it. We're going to right click those two blaze rods onto it, those two mana seals on it, that dark nether ingot, dragon's breath, and TNT, saw that it processed right there. And now we have 
the Philosopher's Stone. We are on our pathway to making dark matter and some of the best armor out there. But I want to see about getting a transmutation table. Uh, so let's see here. Transmutation table. We could actually make two of these guys, so why not? Turn one of these into a transmutation tablet. Why not? And what this will allow us to do is we can look at this and we can put stuff like the transmutation table in there, these oak logs that we have in here, anything with EMC on it. There's not that much with EMC in this pack. Like dirt doesn't have EMC. Normally dirt does, stone does. So, uh, glass, clay, we can just toss these up in here, have access to them anywhere in the world as long as we have the EMC for it. Um, so that that's one reason why we've been progressing this way. Uh, is to get EMCable stuff. Oh, wow, that doesn't have EMC. None of the fuels have EMC. That's kind of odd. Um, but yeah, now we've got the Philosopher's Stone here. The portable transmutation tablet, which is one of the things we wanted to get uh, done today. And uh, we got a... Okay, start into Batania here. So I feel like today was a good wait for the chamber to get done over there. So we're, like I said, we're about halfway through this um, process here. So it's probably about another hour or so before it's done. So let's see what we get as our rewards here. We've got pink, mystical flower, obsidian, high equivalence, pure daisy, brown petals, mana steel, blaze rods, living oak. Uh, good stuff, good stuff indeed. Let's see here. Any of this can go in here. Oh, the high equivalence dust. Uh, we got us a second pure daisy, which is useful. There's some stone. Wish seeds were transmutable. Oh, gunpowder is. Okay. So, oh, 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 I just noticed we just tossed this in. Um,. Okay, we, we still have enough into our thing. Uh, it's just, I'm not sure how much longer that ritual had going before it would stop running. All right, so uh, give me a second to see how much time we have left and I will figure out where we head to next, if we can get any prep work done for the next episode as well. All right, guys, uh, before we end up, I want to start making some Igneous Extruders, uh, a good number of them. So I started teaching the patterns here for this. So let's put this away here into here. 
we're going to uh, actually have to set up the molecular flower here soon enough, so probably in a couple episodes. Uh, so uh, what do you need now? Actually, you know how to make all of it, so bring this in here. So now we can say uh, igneous extrude. Okay, so I want at least three that I can think of right now. Okay, so I also would like to get some packed ice. And to get packed ice, we're going to need pretty much nine ice. And the easiest way of getting ice is with a compactor uh, set to ice, so with H2O which we get the H2O from this atomizer, remember? Come over here, put some water into this guy. It's been a while since we've messed with this. I, I really wanna get back to the chemistry. Here. And I'm not sure exactly how much water we're gonna need. Um, so let's see here, compactor, so now we can go with open recipe, we can say ice. Oh, can we actually make act ice? Uh, a lot. Okay, so pack ice, which just requires, okay, so we, we're going to have to do it this way. Okay, so we've got this making our ice for us. Gonna need probably three more of those. It's like 16 each. I was wrong. Yes, need ice? Yes, I did need ice. There we go. We got us packed ice. Um, so that opens up a lot of these quests that we've already completed. And it brings us back here to this quest. Uh, this particular quest reminds me, I would like to actually uh, take our current setup right here and uh, move it down here where we were originally going to set it up at. I think we're going to set up a wall with finished goods here. Uh, after that, that's all I know so far. So I'm going to set up that wall with finished goods uh, on it. And I will see you guys next time. Until then, later getters.